Welcome to another edition of What They Happen. Guys, what they happen for your day? What they happen for my year? You know, say, you know how we do them. Um, everything where they happen for your day, they happen for me, my social media feeds. Everything, basically everything on social media, on mainstream media, we make sure that what they happen team, we they investigate, we they extrapolate, we they interpolate, we they extrapolate, we they do everything. Even if you, you manage to get yourself into the news. What they happen, we will talk about you. Guys, what they happen? Welcome to another edition. Let's go into the stories. Okay, guys, so um, I know you've heard, uh, you've seen the video, you've heard the story. If you haven't heard the story, you've seen the video about Beyonce and then Shatawale's video. But you know how we do them, what they happen, you know how we de fapulate, we de intrapolate, we de extrapolate. We want to tell you what really went down and why Shatawale was actually picked and not other artists. Guys, Let's launch into the story. We have, what we have done is that we have investigated and we have found that, no, there must be reasons. We, what we are coming out, we are coming out with three reasons why we think, or possibly four reasons why we think Shatawale was actually chosen over other artists in Ghana. Now, you know how we do it. We are facultating, we are extrapolating, we are doing everything. And then what the happening team, what we are, we are saying is that it could be because of social media presence. Now, guys, you all know Shatawale. We know Shatawale. We know how Shatawale trends on social media. If Shatawale comes on social media, it's a boom like that. Everybody talks about it. Everybody, even the president talks about it. Everybody talks about it. And then, as the saying goes, there is nothing like bad publicity. Even if he gets into the news for the bad reasons, we will still talk about him. Okay? So, in my own mind, I'm thinking, okay, could it be that... Um, uh, Beyonce was maybe sitting there and then like, okay, let me just Google Ghanaian artists in Ghana and maybe, possibly, we are not saying that what happened, no. We are saying that could it be that she Googled and then Shatawale's name came first. We don't know. Uh, obviously, um, somebody actually recommended Shatawale to Beyonce. Well, it can't, it can't just be that uh, Beyonce just Googled the artist in Google and then came up with Shatawale. No, that's, that's, that's not far. Well, the owner of Fantasy Dome actually recommended uh, Shatawale to Beyonce for this massive hit to be, to be made. But yes, I'm, I'm thinking that Beyonce has a very large entourage, uh, has a very large uh, media team and all that. So possibly they would also go behind and then actually investigate, go to Shatawale's media presence and stuff to see what is actually going on. Like, is he worth the attention that he's getting? Is he worth the collaboration? Would people be in love with him when the video actually comes out? Beyonce is big. Obviously, she's, she wants to surround herself with big people. And Shatawale is big, not only in Ghana, but in Africa. Shatawale is really big. Being it, whether it be bad publicity or it be good publicity, Shatawale is big. When he comes on social media, everywhere goes haywire. Okay, so we think that these are one of the critical reasons why Shatawale was actually picked over some other artists that we have in Ghana. So guys, um, let's analyze this, okay? Now, what we want you to picture is that um, actually, Shatawale is not that sort of an artist who would come and sing his whole out, you know, put music into a song, make you uh, get the emotions that other uh, artists does, okay? Now, Shatawale changed his style with uh, new songs that he did some couple of years back. Now, one of the main reasons why we think, actually we think, that Shatawale was chosen over some other artists, be say, the guy can sing. Shatawale now can sing. You know, kekun, kekma, all those words, you know, it, it, it sounds silly in the mind of somebody who is outside, like in the mind of uh, Beyonce, like, what is, it, is, 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 is this guy saying? But the idea behind it, we say, the guy can sing. Now, Shatawale can sing. No, so couple the social media presence with the fact that Shatawale can actually sing. Now, we don't only look at him as a dancehall artist, but somebody who can actually sing. Because there have been uh, songs like Melissa, like this. There have been songs that he actually puts out there that you can see that the guy is actually singing his heart out. 
So we think one of also the main reason why Shatabali was, was picked, coupled with the social media and then the mainstream media presence, is the way Shatawale can sing. Okay, we don't look at Shatawale as the normal dancehall artist, or we don't look at as the raga sort of singing that we are uh, known for for him uh, to do. Okay, so now uh, that is why we think that there could this could be a main reason why Shatawale was actually picked over the over the uh, other artists. And as I said, this has not been actually confirmed anywhere. It be we when our investigation where we we do where we come out. Okay, so if you feel it is not so, let us know in the comment section. Okay, so uh, guys, um, hmm, guys, karma is a bitch. Oh. I am now really understanding that term that karma is a real bitch. If you don't take care, karma will f you hard. That it will mess your life up. Now, in our own analysis, we think that there was maybe a battle between who to pick whether it was Shatawale or it was Sak, okay? Now, if you would remember, Sak brought up a video, a song that downplayed Beyonce's work. Now, in Sak's video, he said that, well, instead of he collaborating with, with, with Beyonce for a video, he will do that with Tiwa Savage. Now, that could be just lyrical, okay? It could be just lyrical. It, 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 it didn't mean anything at the, back then. Imagine you were in Beyonce's shoes and then you had to pick, you have to make an option of picking Shatawale and then Sakode. And then you went, you, you investigate and you see that uh, Sakode has actually released a video that has done played you like this lyrically. Come on, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't pick Sak. Please, Sak fans, don't come at me. Oh. This be something where we put together, where we do talk, where you know, be say, uh, you know, be true too. He did there. We go show you the video. That be what sack talk. <laughs> so could it also be that that was the main reason why Shatawali was actually picked over Sakodie? Because if you don't play Beyonce like this in, in a lyrical way, me, if I be Beyonce, I will pick you. And see, Karma is somewhat a bitch, as we are saying. Well, guys, we think that this also could be the reason why uh, Shatawali was picked over the other artists, and especially Sakwadiye, because we know and we believe that there was a deliberation that whether she should pick Sakwadiye, definitely Sak in name go come. Because Sak is also big in Ghana. If you talk about Sakwadiye, you talk about, um, you, you talk about Shatawali. So I'm sure there was a, a deliberation between them. And then Shatawali actually came on top so guys click here to watch my other videos and whilst at it kindly hit the subscription button and turn on the notification post so that anytime i drop a video you'll be the first uh, to see thank you so much and the massive support that you've given me i say thank you guys don't do anything that i wouldn't do peace out